Welcome to tutorial number 165. In this tutorial, we will talk about the next section or the next approach in forming the sheet metals, the forming tool. As we remember, we have the first approach for making sheet metals, the direct, which create simple sheets. And then it might be not enough to create more complicated shapes. So there is the forming tool next. So it takes the benefits of other features for the sheet metal. So you can use, for example, the extrude revolve and to, to make usual shapes and then make them to sheet metal. In this tutorial, we will talk about some ready forming tools in SOLIDWORKS how to look at and use them and then we'll show you how to make your custom forming tool and make an example a ventilation fan vent and then we will look quickly to another real example where the forming tools were used so first let's start a new part on the top plane Let's make a very simple. Let's make a very simple plate. Go to define it with dimensions. Go to sheet metal. And we have the values over there. Click OK. So here is a very simple plate and to find the forming tools they are in the design library. If you go to the design library and expand it, notice their forming tools. So these are forming tools which are ready to be used. You can Click on them and find the types over there. We have louvers, lenses, flange, and so on. For example, we can take the circular grip, and here you can just directly place it on that plate, and you will form your plate according to that forming tool, or you can flip the tool and here the configuration we don't have any other choice than default we will see how to make another configurations in the example next and in the link you can link into the form tool and we will see how to use them then you are done click ok so here is the shape of the forming tool so this shape is not easy to be done by the basic cheat metal commands over there. Try another case. Click on that face. Make a sketch normal to just make some random points. Let's make one point here. And so on. Exit. Go to the again to the forming tool and this big round flange in this case. Let's place it here. So the face is already is picked directly, and you can place it where you want. But to be sure about the place you want to put it, you can add dimension, you can open the next menu, make it normal to smart dimensions and can easily add some dimensions to the place of that round okay and you can make a dimension over there let's make this 70 so you can place directly on 
the point which we made click ok now let's see how to use the sketch which we made here with points to help positioning the following tools go to the design library run flange pick and place it over the position and you can simply pick the point as you notice and place it directly and here we can add relation to that point so we have the round flange on the places where we want also you can use the linear and circular pattern to to pattern the forming tool for example for the feature tool as you notice you could also you can linear pattern direction and for the feature let's pick or say pick this single one and you can change the number for Three twenty. Okay. So now let's start making our example the ventilation grill and use some forming tools. Start a new part. Go to the top plane and make simple play. Make the edges equal and the dimension 150 go to the base flange with a thickness of one millimeter 0.38 k factor click ok let's make the edges with the miter flange go to miter flange as we learned how to use it Pick that edge normal to and draw edge fifteen ten exit the sketch and select the rest of the edges. you are done click ok so now let's see what we can find in the forming tool library to create the vents put the forming tools and let's find movers let's pick this type and flip the direction you can change the angle to 90 degree and click OK and then we can linear pattern this looper go to linear pattern direction one the features this is the initial shape 
of the fan bend but actually this is not how I would like to see this is just a quick sample how to use the louvers so this is a popular type of grills and in the description below I have a, a link for animation to show you how this louver is made this is first and second and I would like to change the style of this grill by using the forming tools I would like to have the louvers longer and create just one press die to create the whole louvers at once so make it longer that will increase the passing air volume and making all in one press will also save production time so delete the louvers and the and let's see how to create a custom forming tool start a new part go to the top plane and make the press die give it a dimension you can make it 150 or a bit smaller so it is matching our grill extrude it okay and let's make the lower manually making this go to the right plane normal to and draw and draw a quarter of a circuit Give it radius of 10. Make this and here make it horizontal and dimension from here to here 20. Close. And extruded mid plane one hundred click OK and here you will make a circular revolve sketch convert entity and each of the wall And make it 90 degree. Narrow this right plane okay add a fillet of 2.5 millimeter to the edge over there and now linear pattern this louver direction is over there reverse number is seven feature the fillet and fold and this one click OK can make it 19 instead so this is the shape of the die which is going to press the plate the sheet plate and produce all this at once after making the die you need to convert it into a forming tool go to the sheet metal forming tool and the stopping face it is clear it will be this face and faces to remove we want these ventilations vents when you are done click 
Okay, so you'll notice the, the colors have changed. You need to save it in the forming tool folder. Pick a form tool and find a place to. You have forming tool, movers, and you can call it custom mover. Save. And let's go back to the grill, the main grill, and press it all at once. Go to the forming tool, you will find the custom logo where we save. So it will be the face of pressing, will be this face. Pick it and drop it on that face. Normal to adjust position the make this and this line coincident or midpoint and here you have the lower center. We are done. Click OK. And here you have the grill ready, all done in just one press. So now let's talk about other options in the forming tool. If you edit the forming tool over there, you'll see we said about the configuration. We don't have any configurations. Also, the link over there is not checked. So now let's see first how the link can be. So let's undo this process. Click delete. Show the main sketch, click this face, go to the forming tool and drop it over there, normal tool, and pick the good position, normal to this point, this point, this point, this point, make it coincident. Okay, and on the type over there, click on the link, link to form tool. Click okay. So that means this these lower are linked to the main die. So any change you make here, it will be changed as well on the Great. So let's edit the length of cigarette so make it 75. Click OK. And here you don't see any changes. To see the changes, go to edit feature and return back. You will see the sketch is updated. So let's add a configuration, go to configuration, add configuration and call it second, for example, and return to the model, edit sketch, and here we can make it, for example, 75. Return to the part, edit feature. You'll notice that you have second and first. So you can make many configuration depending on the size of the plate and simply 
change the length by configuration. And one last thing I would like to show you about using the forming tools, this kitchen sink example. It is a real example in industry. So this is how the kitchen sink is made by pressing a piece of sheet metal with a die press. Here, for example, we have made four dies to create all these pendings. The first form to create the, the first pending over there in this phase. And the second one to create another. So if we go over, over. So this is a raw sheet of metal. Then the first die is pressing to create this. And the second press would create this shape. The third form will make this. Will make this shape and the last one to make this blooper so it was applied on this face.